the Rotten Strips, Episode 3. Hi, I'm Cock Holiday, and tonight is the first installment of our superhero interview series, Super Deep. Tonight, my guest, Bipolar Woman. Oh, huh? Okay, okay. And here is Bipolar Woman. Thank you, citizens, and thank you. My good host, what's the matter? Um, I know you're a superhero, but, um, are you feeling okay? I'm right as rain. Why do you ask? Well, you're bipolar woman. I mean, if you're so emotionally unstable it's considered a superpower, then... Not at all. See, my superpower is the ability to communicate with the polar bears of the North Pole and the penguins of the South Pole. That's why there's an emphasis on the B.I. in my moniker. And plus, I swing both ways. Were you born this way? Oh, yes. When I was younger, my mother made me see a therapist because she thought it stemmed from my stepfather molesting me. But really, I've been like this as far back as I could remember. Uh, I don't mean your sexuality. Oh, right. No, 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 no. Oh, how embarrassing. Sorry. I was bitten by a radioactive polar bear and then repeatedly molested by penguins. Uh, move, moving on. Uh, is crime really bad in the North and South Poles? No, it's just people dumping radioactive waste there. Well, uh, so there's no violent crimes at the Poles? Not on Bipolar Woman's Watch! Uh, what were the crime rates on the polls before you became their defender? I'm no keeper of statistics. I am a woman of adventure. Very regionally specific adventure. Aw, oh, who am I kidding? Is something wrong? <sighs> Look, it's hard out there. Can you imagine being given a superpower that only works in one type of environment and you can barely see people or animals around? Sure, they're scientists, uh, but there's not exactly anything going around shooting or robbing each other. A few weeks ago, I caught this guy trying to stick a hypodermic needle into a penguin. And I thought, how's my chance? This is my time! I get to save a penguin! No one's getting penguins hooked on hard drugs while I'm around. Not I, bipolar woman, there to save the day. So anyway, I swoop in and beat the guy with my bare fist half to death. So it turns out it was a scientist doing research on a vaccine for some horrible penguin plague. So not only did I kill an innocent man, but now the penguin population is going to die a slow and horrible death. I guess that makes me a supervillain. But you control bears. Why didn't you just get a bear to attack him? I didn't say I can control them. I can talk to them. Have you ever tried to talk to a bear? Um, no, I can't say that I have. They are complete dicks to me. It doesn't matter if I ask them nicely or if I scream commands at them. They refuse to listen to me. None of them listen. Some of them have even tried to attack me. Well, that's been this episode of Super Deep. Join us next week when we talk to renowned superhero Dr. Rainbow Arms. And remember, everybody, stay super. But no violent crimes? Not on Bipolar Man's watch. You're, you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs>